Casa of Madeline Soto has touched just so many in our community. People are leaving items at two memorials set up in honor of her. One outside of her Hunter Creek Middle School where she was a student and the other near the wooded area in St. Cloud where her body was found. Children as Daryl Matthews is live in St. Cloud. And, and Daryl, Madeline's story has touched just so many hearts of those people who didn't even know this little girl. Yeah, Martha, you wouldn't even believe how many people have come out here just today. And we've seen people all day drop off bears, write handwritten letters, even bring some balloons out here, all paying their respects to Maddie. As you said, even those who didn't know her, they felt a connection through her story. And I just come to keep her, you know, her respect because I got two granddaughters and she just, it just breaks my heart. A drive along Hickory Tree Road in St. Cloud will lead you to a site filled with flowers and stuffed animals, all in memory of 13-year-old Madeline Soto. She was an angel, I think, to everybody, and she's, that's why she's touching everybody's heart. This is the second memorial set up for Maddie. The first is outside her school where we saw balloons, candles, and prayer. The Orange County School District says in part, counselors have been available at Hunters Creek Middle School since the disappearance of Madeline and will continue to as long as needed. Both memorials come after the teen's body was discovered Friday in a wooded area. Now just feet away from that site, a handwritten note reads, spread your wings and fly and rest easy. It touched my heart. See, I'm very close to my kids. So I don't want my kids to ever go through this either. Soto's body was discovered after Maddie's mother's boyfriend, Stephen Stearns, was named the prime suspect in her disappearance Monday morning when he told law enforcement he dropped her off at school the day after they celebrated her 13th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Stearns is currently in Osceola jail for sexual battery of a child. Stephen Torres didn't know Madeline personally, but says this teen's tragic story moved her to crochet this scarf as a gift. And when I heard her story, I was like, no, I gotta come by and swing and make that for her. Now, Stearns is currently still in Osceola jail. This is an ongoing investigation. Investigators say they are gathering evidence to build a case to charge for murder. We're live in St. Cloud. Dara Matthews, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.